On the banks of the River Severn, a wildlife recorder in his natural habitat, but as a species, wildlife recorders are in danger of being swept away. I was um, amazed really, I was very shocked and bewildered because it's a very successful course. Everyone who's done it goes on to do great things, we've got some very good past, uh, some alumni who've, who've done some, some good works and moved on, and it, it is the leading course to get recognised field skills. Although run by the University of Birmingham, the course is based here in Shrewsbury, birthplace of Charles Darwin, this is his memorial, a man with more than a passing interest in wildlife of course, and it turns out he's not alone. When it became clear the University of Birmingham wanted to close the course, objectors launched an online petition and it attracted hundreds of signatures within just a few days. And that has had an effect in a statement the University told us. The University of Birmingham has extended the consultation period and is investigating the possibility of transferring the programmes to another provider. It would be inappropriate for us to speculate on the outcome of the consultation at this stage. At the moment, more than 60 students are on the course studying for their MSCs and despite these late concessions from the university, people are still concerned. Yeah, it's a huge worry really because um, we don't know that at the end of this extended consultation, which is a year until uh, autumn 2012, we can't be sure uh, that another institution will be ready to take us on in that period and we have to wonder about um, what will the state of the course be. Until further announcements in spring 2012, the future of the work here remains unclear. David Gregory, BBC Minutes Today, Shrewsbury.